Good morning, I am the mainly digger. I pointed way off there. So I got my Garrett Carrot back, my Garrett Pro Pointer All-Terrain AT. So excited, I cannot wait to get back out. Not 100% healed yet with my shoulder, but I'm still getting out there. Taking it easy, but I'm, for, I'm still getting out there. So what I was talking about earlier is there's a seal that goes here, a rubber seal, and I'm gonna go out and get one or use a rubber band or I'll figure something out. But I did not have that and water got in here. So kind of my own fault, but the uh, Garrett sent me a battery with it too, which is awesome. And I'm telling you, like they either gave me a new one or it went through a cleaning process, the a painting process, because a lot of this stuff was, was coming off. I mean, even the button, I had it covered in mud. The, uh, the speaker portion, there was like mud in there. Like I cleaned it out, but I, you know, there's some stuff you're not gonna get. And uh, this looks new. Garrett's customer service is top notch. Absolutely top notch. So I'm excited about my old new, new old pin pointer. Cannot wait, I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I don't care how much my shoulder hurts, I'm getting out. So this is the, you know, the first pin pointer I'm gonna test out. It is, I've already tested the other one, so that's gonna kind of be a re, uh, preview, rerun, whatever you want to call it, of the last pinpointer. I've done, I've tested the this Garrett, or the one, my first Garrett pinpointer out a long time ago, but yeah. So, the Garrett Carrot, if you've never had one, if you've never used it, watch this. If, you, if you've had one, you can fast forward or put it on silent, I don't really care. So, you're going to look for the light. The light is the indicator, indicator light. So, you're going to hold it, and it's on works Woo. to turn it off hold it and it's off just like a second i don't have to hold it that long so if you turn it on and you hold it for too long it's going to change and diff for different uses i'm not going to go over that that's a little above my my level right now I'm so happy to have this back all right mainly to go second pin pointer or handheld so how you turn it on is you flip it up and it goes like that. Three seconds, it's on, which is good. It's easy, but if you're not going to pay it, if you're not paying attention and you're walking through wherever or you're in water and you have this up, this happened to me a lot. It's going to turn on and you're like, crap. Okay, now I got to turn it off. So, and to turn it off, same thing. Just bring it up. Three seconds. See it's flashing. Done. Done. So that is that. I tried to clean it off because I've used it. Like I said before, this is not, you can use it at, on land, but there's only, it only has a three inch dam and it works off a cone. So, and I'll explain that later. And I've, I've explained it before, but it, it's a cone that comes out. So here are the two challengers. I have the Pro Pointer All-Terrain Garrett Carry. Like I said, I just got it back. And the one I can't say. And I keep I kept calling it a handheld pinpointer, which is stupid. It is a handheld handheld diving metal detector. For whatever reason, I could not say it. I could not get those words out of my mouth multiple times. And it is the Vibra detector. Probably said that wrong, but there you go. Two challengers. Now let's go check out the challenge. So I'm starting off with a pinpointer and it reacts to all of this. I have just taken it out of the box. Well, not just taken it out of the box, but I haven't used it. I haven't actually gone out and used it yet. Just made sure it was on, it worked, and the batteries worked. So what I know from using pinpointers or using gear carrot is that it has different settings and I'm not gonna go over the, those different settings. What I will say 
And what I do love about the Garrett Carrot is that it, let me zoom out here. So if you're searching for a distance, like say you, you start off at, you find it at, it's probably two inches. You go to some other op metal object and go under two inches and press the button. And you're not gonna see the signal or hear the signal until you get right up there. So love the Garrett Carrot for that purpose and that reason multiple other reasons too, but, and then you press the button again and it, it returns back to normal. So this is iron, no idea what it is. I found it on a farm, we'll see. So kind of move it back and forth. And we'll try this way too. Oh, less. So about two inches, under two inches. So, and what I've noticed about the, the Garrett Carrot and any real metal detector is that it all depends on how the object or like pennies, if they, if they're like, the, if they're flat, they'll come up differently. The distance will be different. Oh, I'm not getting that at all. If it's at, at the point, it's going to be different. The depth is going to be different. Line something in. So that's under, that's right about an inch. Inch and a half. And I'll say inch and a half. But it's like this, and you're scanning, you're searching. There you go. All right, there's that. So that's right about two inches. Turn it this way, right under two inches. So try it this way. Same thing, right about, right under two inches. It's under two inches, under two inches. And then sideways like you're scanning. A little bit, a little bit, there we go. Under two inches. Now we're gonna use the handheld metal detector. So over two inches, almost, I'd say, I'd say over two and a half inches. So the penny, I think that's, is that a wheat penny? Doesn't matter, anyway, no, it's a memorial pen. Anyway, get sidetracked. So, try the penny. So, a little over two inches. We'll try it sideways now. Oh, it's not good. There we go. So, and you gotta remember to do it to, uh, with this, you gotta do it really slowly. Oh, gold. Gold is the trick. So that's different. That That's not as different than the, the time I did it before. So I guess I didn't really do it. I, I just did it sideways. Or the first time I did this with this exact ring and this and this exact metal detector, I, I got a different, like I, it came out here. So right about three inches, which is awesome. And then you have the fake ring, the fake gold. So that's two and a half. And this fake gold is right here. And that was, one of those is the markings for the fake. So I am kind of surprised at the results that I, I've received from my, my new old pinpointer. It, like I know it can do better than it did. Like it, everything either registered at like two inches in depth or lower than that. And I know, I know from experience that in, in actual conditions, like once you get it like out in the field or out in a field or in the dirt, that it, it goes farther. Like it goes up to four inches easy. 
I needed to get it closer to the, the target that I was looking for. So I would be a shorter distance for the detection. But this, I don't know, we'll see. I'll have to get it out in field conditions, in the field or in the dirt, wherever I go, whatever I do. Garrett's is still amazing, an amazing company. And uh, my handheld detector is, is awesome too. A three inches, like same, pretty much the same depth. The, pretty much the same depth. Now, different conditions, the one's made for water and one can go in water and be used in water. I'll see, I'll have to use them more. Too bad, I'll, I'll have to get out more. Oh no, mainly to get out.